the number of times I've unironically uttered the words frog and toad core on this channel. Hi friends! Today I'm going to zero in on one of the most supreme fall wardrobe essentials of all time the turtleneck. Turtlenecks are just the perfect item for fall. There are endless ways to style them, and today I'm gonna try to go through as many of those ways as I can. Hopefully this can serve as like a bank of turtleneck outfit formulas, outfit recipes, a turtleneck cookbook, if you will, that you can reference whenever you need a cozy outfit this fall. I'm also so excited to style some turtlenecks from Kina and Tam in some of these recipes. They are the sponsor of today's video, and I'm also just a huge fan of them. On to the outfits. First, we are going to style some outfits you can make with any turtleneck. Later, we'll do some just for fitted turtlenecks, just for turtleneck sweaters, but these options are just easy go-to formulas for a standard turtleneck shirt. My first outfit recipe starts with a turtleneck and a long skirt. I'm using the Love Shack top from Kina and Tam and pairing it with this blue floral midi skirt and I already love this combo of colors and the thick cozy top with the super light flowy skirt. For shoes, any stylish pair will work. I chose my go-to chunky loafers and then the next ingredient is to add a crossbody bag on top. I just love how a bag that's worn on the body versus carried then becomes another element of the outfit while also being just very practical. Plus the diagonal line it creates just makes the overall shape more dynamic. And of course, as it eventually gets cooler, all our fall outfits do also have to work with jackets. So as an optional final ingredient, a garnish, if you will, a jacket also works with this look, like this black leather one or even a longer overcoat like this oversized trench. All right, for our second recipe, we're starting with a turtleneck and a mini skirt. I chose the Book Lovers top from Kina and Tam and my go-to black mini skirt, plus added a cozy little fluffy brown hat and tall boots for shoes just to add some seasoning, although I wouldn't say those are a necessary part of the recipe. I'm really doing the most with the recipe slash cooking metaphor. I feel like it's just the perfect comparison. You know, you have optional ingredients, you have substitutes, you have the basic recipe. It just all adds up. I'm not gonna argue with the math. Anyway, the next ingredient to this outfit is a vest. I'm going with this brown suede one to really just cultivate the cozy fall vibe of the top and the hat even more. And yeah, I feel very ready to go read in a coffee shop or go to an autumnal book club meeting. And again, this outfit of course also works with a jacket or a long coat, and you can even match your coat to your vest if you want to be extra coordinated. Okay, recipe number three is extremely simple in its base, but then there are a lot of optional add-ons you can mix and match. To start, it's literally just a turtleneck and pants. Whatever turtleneck and whatever pants you like together. I went with the Love Fool top from Kina and Tam and my green cargo pants. I love the colors together and the added texture of the cargo pockets. For shoes, I decided to carry on this sort of playful street style vibe with white sneakers. Side note, I tried those colorful sneakers that are in the corner of the frame, but the shape of them just looked weird with the pants. So I went with white, but then I accidentally left them in the frame. So now I have to include this little explanation of why they're there and why I didn't use them. Anyway, to further develop the casual sporty vibe, I also added on my purple sling bag and some colorful butterfly hair clips. These just happen to work with the vibe I already had in the pants and the shoes, but I would encourage you to use whatever accessories you have to create a vibe that you like and that works with the pieces you're already working with in your wardrobe. And again, we see that it works beautifully with a jacket, and we also have a reminder that a cardigan is another option that serves pretty much the same function as a jacket. With outfit four, we're getting a little funky, okay? We're pairing a turtleneck with shorts. And anytime we have a funky little combo that maybe looks like it was um, a mistake, I simply add some cute shoes and a hat. Now it's a fashion choice. So because I love to do the most, I went with knee-high boots and a beret, but you could also do like some stylish sneakers and a baseball cap if you want something low-key. I also wanted to take a moment with this outfit to show you that all of these Kina and Tam turtlenecks can also be tucked in as long as you've got a high-waisted bottom with a bit of room in it like these shorts. Despite being someone who typically tucks in shirts, I really don't see myself doing that with these ones. The pockets are just too adorable not to show, but I just wanted to show you that they do have that versatility. Of course, again, you could add a jacket to this too. This time I went with a blazer for a more polished yet boyish look that I think really complements the shorts. Okay, this next outfit isn't actually using these shorts again, but I just had to let you know that for this one, I actually got a size up so I could share the shirt with my boyfriend because he also loves Kena and Tam and he was low-key jealous that I was getting all the cool clothes from them. <laughs> anyway, on to the recipe. For this look, we are pairing a turtleneck with overalls. What could be a cozier combo? And the secret ingredient that I think makes it ultra cozy and cute is adding in some funky socks. 
socks. I think fun socks are such an underrated accessory, especially for fall and winter when you gotta keep warm. And I love them poking out from these fisherman sandals here. It's very eclectic grandpa, very frog and toad core. The number of times I've unironically uttered the words frog and toad core on this channel is ridiculous in that it's more than once. Anyway, if you really wanna complete the frog and toad vibes, you can also add a bucket hat and a tote bag. Bonus points if they match the earthy color palette. For the final recipe in section one of our turtleneck cookbook, we are using the love web top, which is also a size up to share with my boyfriend. But for this formula, we're actually layering a turtleneck under a dress. The dress can be long sleeve or sleeveless, maxi or mini, whatever works for you. I love it with this sort of structured wool jumper. It's giving very much spooky academia vibes with the web poking out and the spider on the neck. But I also love turtlenecks layered under long sleeve button up dresses. These tops are so perfect for this with the little embroidery poking out, but a plain one also works. For one final variation, if you do have a button up dress, you can also layer it open over the turtleneck and pair it with any bottoms, be it a maxi skirt like this one, a mini skirt or some pants. All right, before we move on to section two, please let me tell you a little bit about Kina and Tam, today's sponsor, and what makes them just the best. If you're not already familiar with them, they are a clothing company that creates ethically made dopamine dressing. The clothes are, I mean, just adorable, but also excellent quality. The turtlenecks featured in this video in particular are just so nice. The fabric is really soft and comfortable, but also feels very thick and sturdy. The embroidery on these is also just so cute. And also the reverse side is not irritating to my skin at all, which my skin can be very sensitive <laughs> texturally. I've talked about this in videos a lot, so that is a huge win. These turtlenecks are also from their new Not Boring Basics collection, which aims to inject their usual whimsy and playfulness into some wardrobe classics that are still super wearable for everyday life. I also have a fabulous discount code for ya. So if you are in the market for some high quality, ethically made, and gorgeously whimsical new clothing, everything featured in this video will be linked below and you can use code BEEPWORLD20 for 20% off one order. All right, on to section two. This one is a little more layering heavy. This is the section of outfits that will usually work best with a more fitted skin tight turtleneck. I am just gonna be using this plain black one right here for all four recipes in this section. And uh, that's all there is to it. Let's get into it. My first go-to recipe with more of a fitted turtleneck is wearing it layered under a button-up shirt worn partially buttoned with some pants. I don't know what it is about this combo. I think it kind of makes me feel like I'm wearing a painting smock, which you wouldn't think would be fashionable, but to me, it just makes me feel like a chic yet down-to-earth like pottery professor. I just feel so effortlessly cool in this. Of course, the statement pants make it just that much more fun, but if you want something really understated yet stylish, a good pair of jeans could also work great with this. Of course, again, this also works with jackets. I love it with this shorter tan corduroy one and this longer suede overcoat. And I don't think I've ever worn this outfit with a skirt before, but I think that could also be really cute. You can definitely mix and match the top and bottom options throughout this video. Another super easy way to use a fitted turtleneck to just add a little more dimension and coziness to an outfit is to layer it under a pullover sweater. Whether it's a v-neck, a crew neck sweater like this one I embroidered myself, or a little quarter zip, a turtleneck poking out just adds another layer and will keep you extra warm for those cooler days. I of course think this is adorable paired with a mini skirt and tall boots, but it's a really easy go-to with pants or a long skirt too. Again, any bottoms can be mixed and matched. This is definitely also a pretty simple combo, but A, sometimes you want simple, and B, just adding an accessory like this puffy headband can make it look more styled and like more of an intentional look if that's what you're going for. Okay, this next recipe is one of my favorites. It is a turtleneck layered under a frilly, dainty blouse. I just love this combo of something so cozy and warm with something so light and girly. This specific top is the tongue-tied blouse from Kina and Tam, and it is my new most favorite puffy white blouse in my collection. You can also pair this with anything on the bottom. I just went with some brown pants, and then to counterbalance that ruggedness of the pants, I went with my red flats and some matching red ribbons in my hair for a very whimsical storybook vibe very much over the garden wall, which is the pinnacle of fall fashion to me. Finally, our last recipe for a more fitted turtleneck is to layer it underneath a tank top and pair with, yet again, any bottoms you want. 
For this outfit, I paired my turtleneck with this amazing statement teal ruffle tank top that honestly does not get enough love in my wardrobe. So this is a great way to get more wear out of it in the cooler weather. And then on the bottom, we have this blue midi skirt for a very refreshing analogous color scheme. This could work with so many different types of tank tops. You could go with a baggy jersey tank, a corset top, or even a strapless tube top. This is just a great way to use your summer tops into the colder season. And of course, in this look, the loafers add an academic fall touch to balance out those more summery garments. The final chapter of this turtleneck cookbook, the dessert section, you could say. It's just some notes on styling turtleneck sweaters. A lot of options for sweaters are the same as just for turtleneck tops, but I still wanted to draw them to your attention and remind you there are more ways to wear them than just with jeans. Like for bottoms, you can go with pants, but you can also go with a maxi skirt or a mini skirt. You could also layer tights or even leggings under either of those skirt options if the weather is getting cooler. And you can also layer a turtleneck sweater over a dress of any length. Also paired with tights if you need, which is a great way to maximize your wardrobe and carry your summer dresses into fall. For example, I layered this long plaid dress with the Worm Hugs sweater from Kina and Tam over the top, which is giving me a very strong collegiate clown vibe, completed by the chunky loafers that I am very here for. You can also still layer things over turtleneck sweaters. It might be trickier to layer certain types of shirts over a sweater, but short jackets, long overcoats and trench coats, or vests can all fit easily over a sweater and add not only warm but also a great element of dimension and interest to your look. All right, y'all, those are all my turtleneck outfit combos. Please tell me your favorite recipes from this video in the comments, and also any other turtleneck outfit formulas you may have. I'm sure there are more that I didn't even cover here, so let's maximize those turtleneck options in the comments. Again, if you're in the market for some great quality, adorable, and ethically made turtlenecks, check out Kina and Tam and use my code BEEPWORLD20 to get 20% off one order. Thank you to them for sponsoring. Thank you so much for watching. And if you leave a comment, watch another video, and subscribe to my channel, I heard your fall will begin with the perfect weather right away. I'm saying that because it's literally 90 degrees where I am today, so.